Updated now on those power problems. The state is having UI reporting 1,700 outages across the state. And it's only expected to get worse as the winds pick up. CLMP, just over 32,000 outages right now. Mitch Gross is with CLMP. He's on the phone with us now. Mitch, can you hear me? And Darren, good evening. Thanks so much. All right, this is the height of the storm when I would imagine no folks are going out to, to help with the power outages, but you seem to be holding pretty steady at 32,000 plus out. Right. Actually, we are responding to emergency 911 calls right now, but by and large, yes, the buckets have come down because of the high winds. The safety is, of course, top priority, and it's, it's too dangerous right now for the guys to go up in the buckets to uh, continue that repair work. Now, Mitch, we remember the math here from uh, the hurricanes we've been through. What is the, the standard you folks have as far as wind speed when you can get somebody back up in the air working on these wires? The, the call is actually, to, the actual line worker makes the call. It's typically the threshold is 40 miles an hour. And then the line worker who is well trained makes the decision. If he or she feels they can continue work at 40 or above, they do. But in most cases, the buckets will come down. So when the wind starts dropping, then you'll see the buckets go up. Uh, uh, assuming, of course, that our trucks can get back out to those locations. Obviously, they're there's going to be whiteout conditions. There's going to be snow drifts. So this could certainly impede uh, some of our progress. Mitch, just let me ask you, uh, how many crews do you have out in this when it, when it gets going again tomorrow? And how many have you called in from out of state? Well, the numbers, Anne, and I'm talking people. I'm not talking, uh, these are individual people numbers I'm giving you. We have our, our contingent of about 400 CLNP line workers. We have today about 200 uh, contractors. They could come from in-state or out-of-state. Another 200 are on their way tonight from North Carolina and are expected tomorrow morning. We have today about 130 tree workers as well, and another 200 tree workers are also expected to arrive tomorrow. So it's quite a, quite a small army that we've put together here, and uh, we'll go from there. Here we go again. All right, Mitch Gross from CLMP, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you, folks. Thanks, Thanks so much.